England cheat in the great glory days of darts. So he went into a pub in 1975. Picked up some darts, a man was taken short, lure through 100, and the rest is history. A winner of world title, the world championship in three separate decades. And they were talking about the one they had in 1987, when Low beat Bristol for the world title, 6-4. And Eric, surely, surely he can't take one and start with the max. Well, I do not credit what I'm seeing. Well, Bristo was never one to be shy of playing to the gallery. And we are going to have uh, some stardust entertainment here. And what have the previous people 41. been saying about Bristo? He's the master of psychology. Whether he's winding you up, pulling your leg, or winking at the audience, or smacking a 140 to start. Who knows what he would have won had he not got the dark titles in 19 in the 1980s five titles world titles Bristol five world masters he would have had ten world titles have the dark titles not the circus tavern many regard as the spiritual home of big time darts has never had a more pulsating evening than this 41 right Taylor Andy Fordham coming up later for a hundred thousand pounds kitty this nostalgic match low still in the top 32 Eric doesn't make the cut so often but who can forget when he pushed Taylor in 97 here Dave Lanning in a fantastic semi-final yes that uh, we rather thought might have been his last hurrah Eric bless him still believes there's a lot of good darts in him 41 and uh, John Lowe while well, he's still in the top 32, only just. Is Lubon going to make a big hole now? <laughs> Needs two big troubles now. His adjustment is cockeyed. To be 41. very kind, Eric. Trying to set up a nice little two darter here. Well, Eric went uh, roaring into this leg with a 140, and he still knows where the trebles are. Very yes. unlucky, not in the treble turn there. Still Eric is looking at a 17 darter as Lobo comes in on his trail. 62. Slack, last dart there, Dave. 47. For the first blood, 47. And now double 16. Oh, it's a blocker. Gets it! Gets it even though it's a blocker! Bristol Reed back the end! What a start! Game on. And it's uh, Bristow with the darts here, and that would be exactly the start he would have been dreaming about. No real danger right from the first throw. Bristow then rolling back the years. We remember so well that he started, Sid, you and I were on indoor 100. league at the time. He was an 18-year-old from London, and uh, he said then, I'm going to be the governor at this business, and, and he was. And it, it was a white-knuckle ride, his career, but there was never a dull moment. And Echo in this uh, place in history, dart history tonight, £100,000 coming up later, Taylor Fordham. In the old days, they used to play massive money matches to John Lowe and yeah. Brian Langworth of Sheffield. Used to be Langworth and Lowe, Lowe them days. And then Langworth went to London and played Eric Bristow when Bristow was 20 for £500. Langworth went 7-1 up and Bristow beat him 8-7. John Lowe. He was so impressed with his first television appearance, he didn't take his jacket off. 60! I remember these two, Sid, playing for an England side in a World Cup in New Zealand, and they weren't talking to each other, they were playing pairs together. They practiced apart, only talked to each other when they were playing, and then it was an arctic silence between them for the whole trip. Well, you've got to ask how many cockbirds can walk around a farmyard. They often rubbed each other's shoulders up, these two. Three times world champion, Lobo. Remember him beating the great Leighton Reese in 79. Remember Bristol taking Bobby George to the cleaners in 1980. And he's showing that that shoots back. The Bristol cheek is still allied, even though some of the accuracy is not there. 85. Well, Eric is averaging over 90, and his checkout percentage is 50%. And it, <laughs> he'd be happy with that any time during his career. And of course, the one thing that Eric will thank John for. In 
high was £43,000, which he won in Japan just before the Dart Titus. 13. Two sixteens coming in for Bristol to hey, soldier up. He is murdering. It is not now 1983, folks. Hey, but Bristol's reeling back. Yes.